All right, thank you. Hi, I'm Walter Oliver. I'm from the Azure Stack team in Microsoft. And um, I'm here to talk about that, Azure Stack and open source workloads on Azure Stack. How many of you know what Azure Stack is? Also a few. So it's basically a cloud in a box. You can go to Dell, HPE, Lenovo, a few other vendors, Cisco is coming along, a few other vendors are actually selling a cloud in a box. It's Azure package in a stack of computers, you know, from four nodes up to 12 nodes. And you can go plug it up in, in uh, plug it in into your uh, data center, and boom, you get Azure there. You operate that Azure, you are an administrator of that Azure, and then your uh, organizational employees have access to that particular Azure. So why do we do this? Well, because there are tons of hybrid scenarios like we're talking about. There are uh, scenarios about uh, edge computing, disconnected, you, know, you can have Azure running on a ship in the middle of the ocean, you can have Azure running on an on a oil rig someplace, um, there is a lot of data, a lot of data pipelines being built, for example, all the way from the manufacturing grounds to the cloud. So whether you want to be connected via a, an edge computing node in the cloud, where you can actually have the same applications that you develop for the cloud deploy on your Azure stack, it, it, you can do so right now. Now, one of the things to be able to do so and by the way, there are regulation environments, there are um, uh, uh, scenarios where people have legacy applications and they want to modernize it. They are not ready to take them to the cloud yet. And, or they cannot for whatever reason, but they want to make it cloud-based computing type uh, um, uh, uh, applications. Then they can get Azure Stack. They can deploy things like Cloud Foundry on it. And if you guys were to the booth downstairs, you probably saw a demo. Cloud Foundry running on Azure Stack. So we have uh, Pivotal Cloud Foundry is actually announced their beta release uh, for support for Azure Stack back in December. And they are gearing towards doing their final release on it on, on um, 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 is it version 2.2 or something? I, I don't know, but they're, they're actually working on that. But don't, don't take my word for that. They're, they're working on when they're gonna go and release uh, full support for it. We also have Kubernetes. Uh, you know that Kubernetes right now, you can deploy that in AKS on Azure. Same thing you're gonna be able to do on Azure Stack. Now, we're, going, we're doing baby steps on that. The very first thing that we're doing right now on that is laying out the platform, and that's the ACS engine. The ACS engine is the first step that Azure took to have Kubernetes on Azure. So we're doing the same thing. We're creating a provider for Azure Stack that um, it's going to be alongside the provider for Azure. You're gonna have the same tool that, was, uh, that is still available on Azure to actually generate your templates for your clusters of Kubernetes and deploy them on Azure Stack. Um, you're going to have things like um, Terraform. So let me just give you a little screenshot here. So a few things in there. The very first resource group is Bosch 829RG. That's just a resource group, it's a concept within Azure. If you guys have used Azure quite a bit, you use resource groups a lot. So we deploy entire clusters inside one of those groups. So you can tell on the very first line there, this is actually a screen from my, my laptop right now, um, is, a, is a Bosch deployment, entire Cloud Foundry, open source Cloud Foundry deployment there. On the second line, Azure Stack team, that's actually my team, and it's a deployment of Kubernetes. And I can show you that once, if you guys want on the hallway afterwards. And um, other uh, things that we're doing, Pivotal is a game, like I said, they're actually working on getting the release ready for Azure Stack. Red Hat also working on that with Realm and OpenShift. Uh, Terraform, we're also working on the provider for Terraform. So many folks use Terraform to actually deploy Kubernetes, deploy Cloud Foundry, and so forth. So we're getting the package of things ready, saying as they are available in Azure, they are available on Azure Stack, or they will be available on Azure Stack pretty soon. If you guys want, are interested in trying any of these technologies, feel free to approach me, I can work it out, I can actually give you tests, access to test bills and try things, sort of these things out in your Azure Stack, uh, if you have them or have access to them. We also have the Azure SDK that you can actually download into your own server to try it out, and you can actually deploy some of these things in, in, into your server. 
Now, you don't have to go to Dell right now or HP to buy a big Azure stack to play with it and, and, and learn about it. So that's, that's basically it. Any questions you guys have? Are we within the time? <laughs> no questions? All right, well, thank you very much. <laughs>